Hello, uh, in this new video, I'm gonna talk to you about instance. So we've gonna we're gonna start by uh, create a box. I choose a two plane on grid snap to move along this plane. And uh, I'm gonna make a rectangle, a box there with. Uh, like this, I can see on the upper uh, left of the screen that a uh, box 4x4x4 four by four by four is now created. So now when I select the object, I can see that uh, his own pivot is there in the corner. If I deselect it, I can see the, the center pivot of the universe, but now its pivot is there. So I want this pivot to be in the center of the grid. So now I can choose RefCS, like uh, Reference Coordinate Systems, move uh, the coordinate system there, and choose at the end of the menu Set Object CS, uh, just above my finger. Tac. I click on it. Uh, I'm not, I was not uh, exactly in the middle, so I uh, redo it. I can, I can see on the upper left uh, corner, that so now I'm uh, zero, zero, 0 position, so I choose set object CS. And now my object uh, has its pivot uh, far away from me. When I move it, you can see its pivot is, uh, is there. So it's going to make uh, it's going to be useful for uh, what we're going to do with the instance. So now I'm going to choose uh, instance, just uh, close to copy. I'm going to do five instance. So with the original cube, there are going to be six cubes, and I'm going to rotate uh, each time uh, 60 degrees by instance. So if I want to be precise, uh, now I, I check that I have only my uh, green uh, arrow selected, because I want to rotate around the y-axis. And I'm going to sw swipe from the exterior of the screen to the inside, on the uh, red, green, and blue uh, uh, small bar. So now uh, I have the possibility to tap uh, a precise uh, angle I want to, to rotate it. So it, uh, it's, uh, it's only uh, three, 360 degrees divided by six because I have uh, six cubes. So now uh, the difference uh, I can see they are positioning like uh, around the circle because I was I, I, I put the, the pivot uh, in the center. So now when I select select the face of the original object, so the difference with copy is like it it's uh, that uh, every instance is selected also, and if I choose to move it, every instance uh, obey uh, the same uh, same movement. So now I can, for instance, uh, oh, for example, uh, delete this face and uh, trying to combine all of my objects. So I can select them. And uh, uh, to show you, uh, when I swipe from the exterior of the screen uh, to the entire on uh, this bar, I have uh, my original box, it's box 1. And uh, it's not box 11, it's box 1. 1, box 1, 2, box 1, 3, box 1, 4, box 1, three. all of the instances. So, but now, if I select every object by tapping on it uh, in this uh, area of the screen to select, I can now uh, uh, go to the spiral menu and uh, choose uh, combine. And now it's only one object, box uh, 11. So I can close this panel. But uh, no, I want to to weld every vertex uh, which are close because uh, when I select, for example, uh, this one and I move it, it's not welded with the the vertex just uh, uh, next to it. So I can go back there and uh, I can choose to select every vertex. So to do that, uh, I can click on one, and uh, uh, 
invert my selection and uh, now with the lasso I can reselect it so now I can see on the upper right I have a 48 uh, vertices selected oh. I go back if I uh, okay, 48 vertices selected so now I can choose to do uh, auto welding so now it's going to weld uh, with the distance so if I increase this distance I can see nothing changed in the shape but uh, on the upper right uh, I, uh, I move from 48 to uh, 36 so it must be good so I click uh, anywhere on the, on the black uh, screen to, to say it's ok and if I select uh, for example this vertex and I move it now it's welded so now uh, I can, for example, select uh, uh, this edge and, uh, and choose a border to select every edge uh, in the border, like this. And I can do uh, something like uh, scale, scale on this, uh, on this plane. Ah, sorry. I can scale and extrude I know if I want to close this shape I can long press on vertex uh, I still in, in extrude I still in, in scale mode so normally if I have uh, this height selected and I long press on vertex no, it won't work but I can do the same with vertex choose vertex and border and now uh, I, I won't do auto weld but just a weld and they're gonna weld in the middle so ok so on the upper right I can see I have only one vertex selected so now uh, the shape is closed I can do the same uh, on the other faces and continue to work on a, on a single object so that's why, that, that was uh, an example with an uh, instance